Okay, welcome to Fire for Effect episode four. I know you guys watched, I hope you watched the live show with, with my man, my main man, Bryce Hooper here. Um, this is again, episode four of Fire for Effect, the full version pod. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, my week a little bit. And I got to interview some, uh, some people from The Veteran Farmer. We're gonna get into who those guys are in a minute. So here's what happened. I got an email from the veteran farmer saying, hey, we're having this um, meet and greet's not the right word. Peer gathering? Yeah, peer gathering, like uh, a wellness day is how, how Lloyd describes it, which you'll yeah. see later on when I get to interview him. And it's going to be down at Speeders Amusement Center, which I'd never been to. So Very cool. Uh, yeah, man, it was fucking great. So I went, I went down there and we had a good time. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, the veteran farmer, I'm not going to, talk about what it is we'll get to that i am a client patient what do you think is the right word all the same all the yeah. same thing right you're part of the family yeah right? so to get to that i was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder in 2021 after years of uh, denial and fortunately some pe good people around me pointed me towards lloyd and and, and his family owned company and said hey man we're gonna we're gonna fucking get you sorted out get you on the right path because you can't keep going going down the path you're on that story is for another day so that's how i ended up with them and I, I could put my hand on my heart and tell you they sorted me the fuck out and, yeah. and and not just with you know their main effort is is um is it medical cannabis is that the right term do you think uh, veteran wellness is definitely the, veteran the wellness. Main, yeah, one of their one of their staples is medical cannabis. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's not their only thing they do. So, yeah, that was my first thing. So first of all, I thought the veteran farmer, like, what the fuck do they grow like vegetables and shit, and and we get a deal on them because because <laughs> we're veterans? Like, Rick, and we get some good tomatoes, organic <laughs> shit, and like, some no, celery, it's about some lettuce. Yeah, you know, medical cannabis, and I, I won't lie, I, I always thought. Oh, fuck, here we go. This is the new hype thing since we're, weed was getting legalized and all that yeah. shit. This is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Because we grew up in a culture where weed was bad. It was illegal. Oh, yeah. It wasn't cool. It was also a career killer when we were in. Exactly. Yeah. The big zero tolerance yeah. policy. There was zero tolerance stickers all over any given fucking unit lines on, on a Canadian Armed Forces base. And it was a horrible thing, and you weren't supposed to do that. And and you you got a better history on on cannabis to, to for wellness and to help you out both mentally and physically. It's new to me, um, and I get into it when when, when, I, when we do the interviews. So, but just give people a background like what it's really all about versus all the hype on on oh, how absolutely. cannabis, how they use it to to. Um, improve that and then we'll get into all the other shit that well that, i think the, one of the guys down at the veteran farmer do one of the biggest things now with growers like spectrum therapeutics they have products that are labeled to exactly to break that those stigmas and to break that difficulty because cannabis yeah. can be such a difficult plant it's been around and it's been such a diverse medication for so many years now right it is so complicated. Unless you have somebody around who can kind of guide you through that, signing up with someone like Spectrum, they're going to have a blue, a yellow, a purple, well, a and, red, and the and I, when I talked to uh, to Mike, I, I said that I said we're, we're dumb army guys, man, and I have no, <laughs> I'm not a pothead. Um, <laughs> yeah. All of it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm new new to cannabis use, and I, I still you know met, use it just one for when I need it. Yeah, it's not a recreational thing for me. I like uh, I like my beer, and I always will. <laughs> Sometimes I'll have it recreationally, but I, you know, they color code it and help you roadmap to find what's right for you, right? Because and I've been Absolutely. fucking around with this for a few months, and I can oh. tell you the shit that doesn't work, like that yeah. thing you're drinking right now. So when I first got my first order from Spectrum, it was the middle of the day. It was September, beautiful day. We're on the deck, having yeah. a beer. I had all these plans, right? I'm going to get all this shit done. <laughs> I drank that thing, dude. I am fucking <laughs> done, man. I'm done. I was happy. I was loose, relaxed, oh, yeah. giggling away to myself, but yeah. still, you know, coherent. Absolutely. I'm not fucking baked. 
That's the best part about too, is now there's so many options on drinks. You can start your day with a CBD drink. Yeah. Where there is no THC psychoactive part. You're not high. You, you just have the anti-arthritis, the pain relief, mild anxiety, aid with pain, that kind of stuff. And you can start your day, I guess, co coherently, not... Not yeah, that, you're, not, you're not you're not right all. out of her. You're yeah, still, absolutely. You're still, it's you're... no different than taking a CBD oil. You yeah, can now just start which I her. take at night to help me sleep. Right. So. Yeah, and that's the best part about ten years as a, this medical industry has been around for so long now, two thousand three, two thousand four, that th these products have expanded from. You're you, you now ingest something at nighttime that would have before ten years when it was isolated and it was just a simple CBD. Yeah it would have been something that would have kept you up all night. Yeah, no, now for sure. Now they've isolated it and they've kept it where it's actually a calming indica effect as well too. So Yeah, it, it's like it the, the amount of sleep. effort that, and I'm not pumping Spectrum or anybody else's tires, but that's who I get my stuff through, through courtesy of everything the, the, the good folks down at the Veteran Farmer have done for me is, um, and we'll talk about Apollo in a bit. Yeah. It, it's, it's easy to use. It's a user-friendly interface Absolutely. To help you figure out, you know, whether you're managing physical pain or, or mental duress. Yeah. To help navigate what's right for you. They're not pushing fucking drugs on you. They're trying to say, yeah. right, there's, yeah. there's a lot of strains and variations and ways you can oh, yeah. ingest cannabis. Yeah. Or absorb it or you don't have to smoke fuck, it right? anymore. No. There, there's subliminal And I rarely patches. do, man. Most of my stuff, I take my little red pills at night and yeah. I, 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 I sleep way better than I have in, in, in 12 years. Oh yeah, Easily. absolutely. Yeah, you can get that in the mouth spray now too. Yeah, I got all that to, shit, man. You don't I'm want done. a pill, you can have it in the mouth spray, you can have it in it, a drink. It's, it's crazy, and, and you know, like if you would have asked me 10 years ago about that, I would have went, fuck you, I'm not fucking, you guys are all fucking <laughs> hippie potheads, you can <laughs> yeah, fucking ten, beat it. 10 years ago, there wasn't, like when I got my script. Yeah, because exactly. you started this shit way before. Lloyd and I this was started. Cool. Yeah, Lloyd and I started in the same organization. He was actually on the on the on the way out. Yeah. Um, in the midst of planning the veteran farmer and building what he is now, and I was just starting to get into the industry with that same company. Um, spent a couple of years with them, and then went on to build uh, the, my first clinic in Saint Albert, right. Saint Albert, called the Herb Clinic. So, and then where we are now from. So. Yeah. So yeah, we went down to Speeders. Um, I got to meet the staff that was there. This is on Wednesday. Today's Friday. And uh, I, I got to meet. I'd never met anybody from there. It was all Very like cool. I'd never met you. I talked on the phone, fucking blah, blah, blah. Like I, yeah. I met Lloyd. But I got to meet other clients slash patients. Yeah. And they've also been through a, a similar service. Yeah. As to that as well, too. and we uh, we we raced these these cars around. And fuck, man, I'd never yeah. been in a go kart since I was like twelve. So we're going back like thirty. Some and these years. things haul ass, and now. they move, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like fucking, uh, it's it, it was crazy, and I I was like, holy shit, man, this fuck these haul ass. Yeah. My wrists, my shoulders are sore. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so we did the one breathe. race, eight laps. And I'm like, okay, wicked. I'm putting my shit down. I'm gonna get a beer because they won't let you drink there. Right, they'll cut your wristband. You're done. So you, you can't be under the influence of fuck all. So and and then Lloyd's going, oh, we we got two more races. I'm like, what? Oh fuck, man. And uh, yeah, it was a workout, but I got better and better and more aggressive, and it was a it was a lot of fun. And it was really good to meet a bunch of the people that are like me. Yeah. You know, we, we, we didn't things. get into it. We didn't get into, oh, you know, why are you here? Nobody, that's a rude question to ask, right? Yeah. It was just having a conversation about just bullshit. It was a bunch of fucking military guys yeah. sitting around shooting the shit, joking. Exactly. Guys were happy. Nothing to prove. You know, they're, they're being taken care of. So it, it was it was a great venue. It was my first one. I know like, yeah. Lloyd and, and, uh, and Autumn, his wife, it's a family business. They organize this every year, and all the good people that work 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 for the veteran farmer. They put a lot of effort into taking care of their people, and I can't yeah. can't thank them enough. So, okay, we're here down at Speeders Amusement Center, where I just got my ass handed to me in kart racing. <laughs> Although I did progressively do better from seventh to sixth to fifth place. With me today is Lloyd Farmer from the Veteran Farmer. Hello, everyone. Lloyd. Can you uh, give us a little background on the Veteran Farmer yourself? What it's all about? Absolutely. So my name's Lloyd Farmer, as you mentioned. Uh, 
Let's just start with my background. I joined the military in 1989. I went right away to 2RCR. Caught a few quick tours and a little bit of the shit show. Got injured overseas with a back injury. Uh, went on to get diagnosed with PTSD early in my life and got out of the military in 99 and did various things after that. Fast forward quickly to 2014, I got involved with a group of veterans and helped them organize what was great, helping veterans across the country, but a path of greed stepped into way and I went my direction. I uh, founded the Veteran Farmer and I put together a team in place that would allow me to reach out to veterans and help them get financially sound in their life so they could concentrate on wellness. It's been an awful task and uh, I've had to fight my whole way through, but I'm in a spot now where things are great. I'm seeing guys get a lot of fantastic help and guys standing on their feet and actually coming out the race and supporting us uh, the whole way through, helping support other veterans that are injured. And uh, there's a great team behind me I'm just the guy that gets out and finds the guys under the rocks and helps them. And I can speak to that from the bottom of my heart, that I've been helped out as well by, by the veteran farmer. So, Lloyd, what, um, what services does the veteran farmer offer? Because there's this misconception that it's, it's purely about cannabis, oh. which we all know coming up through the military was a big, scary, fucking bad thing. So walk everybody through, you know, including the main effort. Absolutely. All the way to the additional services that are offered by the veteran farmer. So cannabis is a part of us. I use cannabis heavily for my injuries, more so uh, to cope with pain. Like I said, I have back surgeries from CFB Staticona back in the day when it was barbaric. So I use copious amounts of weed and I have a saying, no pain, no problems, meaning I don't get into the other side of the dark realm. So cannabis is a part of us and it's a contracted part of us. We contract out for that, which I have great friends who you're gonna to meet here on camera soon. Uh, as far as our wellness goes, we offer everything from DTCs to all your paperwork with Veterans Affairs, social loading, social events. Uh, there's so much that I can't even keep up with it anymore. Um, I direct guys to our team and the team then sorts out all their needs. And the best way to find out is call the office and ask. Like if you need something done, you tell a girl what you need done and they say, oh yeah, we offer that, right? Or we just do it for you or get it done, I'll source it. I won't stop till we can help a guy. So there's a variety of services that are offered. Obviously, cannabis to help manage pain, post-traumatic stress disorder is a big thing, but you also support guys um, transitioning out or guys that have been out for a while to, to go through the, uh, the rigmarole uh, yeah. Veterans Affairs claims and things like that. Transitioning over the military is a big process. Uh, it's one of the things we specialize in across the country. I've ended up helping, I'd want to say a thousand guys release. It's been wow. a long, long road. But I see out of those thousand people, great things. Like guys getting on with their life, uh, doing well. Using weed, I can't help but say a lot of guys <laughs> like their weed, right? Okay. So, yeah, uh, it's good. It's good. So, what's, um, tell, tell us about what's Teal Poppies all about? Uh, so, the Teal Poppies is the spousal group of us. I always say that's where the real power lies. Uh, with that group of women wrong. and that board of women, they can get great things done. Now, what they do exactly, like where they put all their fundraising, it's, uh, I see it all over the place and right from minor hockey teams right through to any veteran if you have a kid in an event they step in and make sure that team has uniforms you know maybe an outing to a McDonald's if they're in a town away or they do great things. A um, little bit out of my realm talking about the Teal Poppies but it is a non-for-profit organization that we have created. Awesome, outstanding. So what are we doing here today? Because I got this phone call to come down to Speeders, where I've never been, and an uh, amazing facility. What, what was the, uh, what's the intent behind this gathering? Get guys out of their house and meet some new guys. Look around, you met a few new guys today. I did meet a few new right? guys today, and I do appreciate that. And, so, uh, uh, Cause this is my first time to come out to one of these events, so. The fun, look at the smiles. You see guys yeah. race and get off the tracks. Everyone, did I win in my first place, in my second place? I am not first, second, or third, or fourth. <laughs> Nor me. I actually fourth overall, but... And this is only, yeah, uh, we're only halfway through the event. Um, how do guys get a hold of you? 
for any veterans that are watching this that are not familiar with the veteran farmer, what's what's the easiest way to get a hold of them? Hold of the veteran farmer. Pick up the phone and call one of the offices or www.theveteranfarmer.ca. And I'll post all that stuff down below in the link as they say on YouTube. Uh, I can't thank you enough, brother. Thank you very much. Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Farmer, the veteran farmer. Thank you. The veteran farmer doesn't work in isolation, they have partnerships. One is Apollo Cannabis. Who help me out here with Apollo? They are their prescriber. Yeah. They are your doctor's office. Right. So, yeah. yeah. They'll provide all of your physician needs, your nurse practitioner or your, or your prescriber or your physician thereof to go and get, uh, or your exemption letter writer, so your psychiatrist or your pain specialist. Yeah, and I talked to uh, Steve Camp. Steve's from uh, Canopy Growth. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a good conversation, and and I, and, I, and then Spectrum Therapy. Yeah. I, I can edit that shit out. <laughs> yeah. Have a fucking beer. <laughs> Spectrum Therapeutics. Yeah. Who I get my product from. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, they were there. I got to sit down with representatives from Apollo and from Spectrum. <laughs> <There> <laughs> fucking, yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing great here. <laughs> to to uh, to to con converse with them and talk about what they did for the show. So it was really good. Okay, we're with Steve Camp from Spectrum Therapeutics. Steve, tell us what Spectrum is all about. I use Spectrum products, by the way, and they're outstanding. And uh, what your role is with Spectrum and how you uh, linked up with the veteran farmer. Cool. Uh, yeah, so Spectrum's a licensed producer, obviously a Canadian licensed producer for cannabis. Uh, and what I do, or at least what I've done over the last three, four years, is I've focused on trying to build the best veterans program that we could. And a lot of that, a lot of the credit goes to Lloyd for, for sort of giving us as much information as we could about veterans and, and us just spending a ton of time you know, with you guys hanging out. and. Uh, and learning and listening to what you wanted and then sort of just like building it, trying to put it in place. And, right and I feel like we've gotten to a spot now where we have a really, you know, a really solid program tailored towards veterans. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the core of what I spend my time doing. Is, is What's your specific role with, with Spectrum? So I manage our relationship with all of the cannabis clinics across Canada. Okay, so that sounds busy. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ones. Each province has their own. Yeah. Um, and so Canopy's relationship with the clinics is my is my focus, and then also uh, the, building the veterans program internally. So when did you start using Spectrum stuff? So I started using, that's a great question. I started using Spectrum, um, I want to say September. And as a new guy to, to cannabis, as, as a means to manage pain and PTSD, which is primarily what I use it for, I was, I didn't even know where to start or begin. Luckily for me, the veteran farmer helped me out. However, the information provided me by Spectrum made it very easy to navigate which products were right for me and how to use them. Right. Like, you know, and it, it, it took me a bit of time to figure out, and I'm still road mapping, it's only been a few months. Yeah, for sure. But, but, but the system and the design and the interface on the website and the documentation provided with the product really simplified the process of trying to identify what worked for me and what did not work for That's me. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool, man, because it's funny, like, the way that the color coding is designed. Is it's that's it. It's like, cannabis is complex. Let's see if there's a way we can make it a little bit I know, bit and dumb army guys, which we call ourselves all the time, we need color coding. Okay? We're <laughs> yeah. visual learners. This is this. This is this. Yeah. Here's how you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking... This is how you use it. And uh, a hand on my heart, it's a simplified system, keeps it easy, right? and uh, it's worked for me. That's awesome, man. That's good to hear. And, like that, That's all that matters. It's like making it easy, making sure that when you call, someone's there to help you. Someone understands what you, what your, yeah. what documentation vets need and what you need to do and how to get your order. And it's like, you know, yeah, that's that's the focus of our job. And and we always need to keep our ears open, right? Because uh, absolutely, there's always and things get changing. Get that, that user or client feedback is important. Yeah. All right, Steve, thanks Cheers, for brother. your time, man. Thanks for having me on. So, yeah. The veteran farmer does not work in isolation. They've built partnerships in order to um, to provide veterans with a full range of services, right? So they don't Absolutely. just do fucking, you know, get you prescription weed. They take care of the... the, the, the Talk therapy that you need as well. Yeah, and, and the complicated task of, of dealing with veterans affairs. And once again, Absolutely. veterans affairs has been fucking great for me. You hear all these horror stories from guys. I, I think they're doing something wrong, man, because vac has been good. Um, but <laughs> That's a good thing to hear. Yeah. It is. But the process is, is fucking, it's a, it's a bit of work, right? Yeah. And 
they are like experts because they do this for all their clients all the time. So Absolutely. it was like, I got on the phone, I did a consult, they hopped into my, uh, my, my VAC account and initiated all my shit to get the ball rolling on huge on benefits that I would never have known I was entitled to or would have missed out on or, or was too stubborn yeah. to fucking to chase, right? Um, so yeah, man, they were, they were massive. So you, you've got a partnership with them. Let, let's, let's walk us through yeah. what, what, so what's that all about? So it's no different. So above your service, uh, what we've talked about beforehand, um, is just like the veteran farmer. I'll provide uh, the veterans that, that need that cannabis experience or that, the medical cannabis prescription. Yeah. Um, at, the, at the same time, they're, they're letting me borrow Apollo clinics. So right away, we leave it to the professionals. Okay. When it comes to ordering and so forth, there's money exchanged through, through MediV and the, and the provider, et cetera. And who's, who's MediV? What, what is that? Sorry. Blue Cross. That's, that's Veteran Affairs. Oh, okay. That's who's paying cannabis bills. Right. As, to, as it comes to per patient, there are agreements where I get to take portions of, of monies and now I can, pro I can provide uh, support towards my street outreach team. Yep. So I, we are now feeding the, the unhoused community uh, every time that you order monthly we are going to still be under the veteran farmer. We're still going to be under Apollo. Now we just provide the background stuff and now we can do other projects with the same. Nice. Yeah. So the, the, you're, you're building a community in the, in the effort to better the betterment of veterans. And Absolutely. you're also using that to springboard to support your outreach program. The other programs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah. fucking good shit. Man. Yeah. It really is. It's the same thing where the, the money, uh, that comes into the veteran farmer powers um, the teal poppy program too. Yeah, so all we talked money about that. Is, yeah, yeah, that all it's the same kind of thing. So that money they're doing great things with uh, sponsoring veterans or veterans programs. In my sense, I'm just taking that and providing uh, a support for veterans that are unhoused. Hopefully, getting them into the homes for heroes hopefully getting them then into a stable condition where we can apply medical cannabis and then help, help them get into um, a better life. Okay, we've got Mike Levinson from Apollo Cannabis. And uh, Mike, uh, just tell us a little bit about your role with Apollo Cannabis, um, what Apollo Cannabis is all about and, and how it relates to or interacts with the veteran farmer. Sure, yeah, so I'll start out maybe by giving some background to those who don't know sure. about Apollo, maybe how it started. Uh, what we do. So Apollo started in 2014. Uh, someone named Brian Hendon started it. He co-founded Canada's largest out-of-hospital pain clinic. Well, this is prior to legalization. This is, uh, no, post-medical uh, legalization, okay. okay. pre-recreational yeah. pre legalization. Okay. So what happened was at this pain clinic, uh, patients were coming in, trying, you know, injections, uh, all these different treatments, and they were saying anecdotally to these doctors, I'm using cannabis and it's working better than all these other things, can you prescribe it? And the doctors just said flat out no because there's no research to support it. So what Brian did is he started a company called Apollo Applied Research, partnered with Guelph University and started researching uh, the efficacy of medical cannabis to lay that foundation to support uh, prescribing to patients. And out of that research organization spun off Apollo Cannabis Clinics where doctors joined on and uh, became experts in the field and prescribed medical cannabis to civilians uh, and veterans across the country. Outstanding. So when did you link up with Lloyd and the veteran farmer? So I started in 20, uh, 2016 at Apollo uh, yeah. and I was focusing on insurance coverage. So two areas were those involved in motor vehicle accidents getting coverage through their auto insurer and right. veterans getting coverage through Veteran Affairs Canada. Okay. And I got linked up with Lloyd back in, geez, I think it was 2018, 2019, something like that, where we forged a partnership. Uh, Lloyd and his team provided access to the wellness and social foundation for the group. And Apollo were the facilitators of, of the medical arm. So we, we provided the doctors, the nurse practitioners, right. the specialists, and the expertise to help facilitate the prescriptions and then the coverage through Veterans Affairs. So it's very much a joint partnership. Absolutely. Collaborative 
Yeah, ab ab absolutely, definitely. To, to, to help benefit veterans or, or whoever else seeks the policies. Who else do you guys uh, provide services to? So we, we've got about 100,000 patients across wow. the country. Okay. Uh, and about 2,000, maybe a bit more than that, are veterans. So about about 2 to 3% are veterans. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Mike, thank you very much. My pleasure. Right. And by the way, if anyone has questions, yes. uh, they can email us at veterans at ApolloResearch.ca. Ah, there you go. I'll post that. I'll, uh, I will post that as well down below. Well, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Okay, we're with Steve Camp from Spectrum Therapeutics. Steve, tell us what Spectrum is all about. I use Spectrum products, by the way, and they're outstanding. And uh, what your role is with Spectrum and how you uh, linked up with the veteran farmer. Cool. Uh, yeah, so Spectrum is a licensed producer, obviously a Canadian licensed producer for cannabis. Uh, and what I do, or at least what I've done over the last three, four years, is I've focused on trying to build the best veterans program that we could. And a lot of that, a lot of the credit goes to Lloyd for, for sort of giving us as much information as we could about veterans and, and us just spending a ton of time, you know, with you guys hanging out and, uh, and learning and listening to what you wanted and then sort of just like building it, trying to put it in place. And, right and I feel like we've gotten to a spot now where we have a really, you know, a really solid program tailored towards veterans. and. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the core of what I spend my time doing. Is, is What's your specific role with, with Spectrum? So I manage our relationship with all of the cannabis clinics across Canada. Okay, so that sounds busy. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ones. Each province has their own. Yeah. Um, and so Canopy's relationship with the clinics is my, is my focus, and then also uh, build, building the veterans program internally. So when did you start using Spectrum stuff? So I started using, that's a great question. I started using Spectrum, um, I want to say September. And as a new guy to, to cannabis, as, as a means to manage pain and PTSD, which is primarily what I use it for, I was, I didn't even know where to start or begin. Luckily for me, the veteran farmer helped me out. However, the information provided me by Spectrum made it very easy to navigate which products were right for me and how to use them. Right. Like, you know, and it, it, it took me a bit of time to figure out, and I'm still road mapping, it's only been a few months. Yeah, for sure. But, but, but the system and the design and the interface on the website and the documentation provided with the product really simplified the process of trying to identify what worked for me and what did not work for that's me. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool, man, because it's funny, like the way that the color coding is designed. Is that's it's, it. It's like cannabis is complex. Let's see if there's a way we can make it a little bit I know, bit and dumb army guys, which we call ourselves all the time, we need color coding. Okay? We're <laughs> yeah. visual learners. This is this. This is this. Yeah. Here's how you... <laughs> <laughs> fucking... This is how you use it. And uh, a hand on my heart, it's a simplified system, keeps it easy. Right. And uh, it's worked for me. That's awesome, man. That's good to hear. And like, that, that's all that matters. It's like making it easy, making sure that when you call, someone's there to help you. Someone understands what you, what your, yeah. what documentation vets need and what you need to do and how to get your order. And it's like, you know, yeah, that's that's the focus of our job. And and we always need to keep our ears open, right? Because uh, absolutely, there's always yeah, things get changing. Get that uh, user or client feedback. Is important. Yeah. yeah. All right, Steve. Thanks Cheers, for brother. your time, man. Thanks for having me on. So there it is, the veteran farmer. Um, I, I can't say enough good things they've done, and I know that sounds biased because, yeah, I'm a client, I'm a patient, if you will. They've taken care of me. Take care of me. They've taken care of you. Absolutely. They have uh, they do exceptional work for our veteran community that otherwise, you know, w would continue to struggle and might not get or not even know about the shit that, that they're entitled to or should get or the help that they need oh, yeah. to get them back on the right path, you know. So, um I'll post all the links down to, to all these organizations for, for Apollo Cannabis, for Spectrum Therapeutics, and all these partnerships. And you got, you got a link yet? No, we're fuck still working. Me. We got to work that. on your yeah. tech. Low tech, low uh, tech. Yeah, absolutely. I will get them tech. sorted the fuck out. I, <laughs> I trust you. So, yeah, um, that's her. Uh, I, can't, I can't thank them enough. Now, what these a guys take review. care of, they, they're taking care of the veteran community. Every member that ever served the Canadian Armed Forces, which represents less than 1% of the population of this country, has gone to extreme lengths to, um, so we can enjoy the world that we live in. I'm not going to use the word fucking freedom because it's abused so much. I'm not <laughs> saying that word, man. Well, I did say it. No, you did. <laughs> freedom! Yeah. Um, yeah. So check them out in any way that you can or want to support them. You can find it on the, on the webpage. And, uh, yeah.
Check out Bryce's shit too. As soon as we get him a fucking web page. Web page, podcast. Podcast. What else am I talking about? Well, you know, you could have a, just an Instagram, but you could start with social media, Twitter. It, yeah, I do have the all little, of that, the little yeah. things. Maybe yeah. send me a fucking graphic so I could plug your shit on our show. <laughs> I still haven't done that. No, you that. still haven't no, done that. No. All right, that's a wrap. We're out of here, and we will see you uh, next week on Fire for Effect Live. Thanks for fucking tuning in. And until then, stay thirsty.